<laughs> Richard Arnold. Gary, you're like a geopolitical uh, a comedian. You actually show things that are actually uh, true, but there's a little twist to them. For example, the latest is you have a picture of, uh, of Rosenberg and her husband who were convicted as sort of the first American spies. They were later executed, by the way. They are involved as members of globalist organizations transferring atomic bomb technology to the Soviet Union. By the way, I happen to know the people uh, through Alaska that actually were there when the uh, isotopes, which were, by the way, rescued from Nazi Germany, were given, because half of our isotopes for the big big boy bomb that was dropped in Nagasaki and Hiroshima came from Nazi Germany, because they already had centrifuge technology. And we transferred this material to the Russians along with technology to upgrade them and make them a valid enemy. So when they executed the Rosenbergs, they are actually executing one of their own to try to pretend that somehow they were spies and actually were transferring illegally to Russia, when in fact Russia was nowhere near the technology to have nuclear weapons back then, we gave it to them, us and the, and the Germans, because what people also have to understand, the German Nazis did not lose the Second World War. They won it through their intel agencies. They lost a lot of their own people that died. But in fact, Germany did not lose the war. They won. People don't get that. There's a mini-series on, on uh, Amazon, now about the high tower, it's called you know, man in the high tower. I think it's the fifth season of it, and it's a kind of a play on the idea that maybe Germany didn't lose the war. Guess what, people? They didn't. They won. The intel agency called the OSS that later became the CIA and NSA and later under George Bush, the completion of the Tool THU German Austrian uh, secret society that channeled uh, transdimensional entities to make the, Vim, the what's called the. Uh, Mercury-based uh, Higgs boson field uh, gravitonic vehicles called the, the, the Foo Fighters that I uh, took care of pilots almost 40-some years ago, that 70-some years ago in the Second World War, they chased after them at hypersonic speeds. They were created from technology channels from these ancient uh, Indian uh, Vimana, and uh, people don't get it, do they? They don't realize that Germany didn't lose the Second World War. They won it, didn't they? Yeah, well, again, that was the uh, expose. Surprisingly, that uh, uh, Jerry Voorhees, a congressman in uh, uh, California, he was replaced by Prescott Bush, who was uh, skull and bones, uh, because right. Jerry Voorhees put out a book in 1942, or he wrote it in 42, but it was printed in 43 or so. Right. But he was saying, no matter who wins the Second World War. You know, the cartelization of Europe is coming, and he was trying to warn people back in the United States. Um, but that's why they had to get rid of well, them. Well, that's the reason why they had World War I and II. The World War I and II were actually to, to, to cartelize or to actually create the super state Europe that was above even the local governments. And it was to right. create a, a global new world order, which eventually was in the Council on Foreign Relations in the fall of 1973, called the Ten Zones. And Zone 3, by the way, was finished by the son-in-law, um, of Donald J. Trump, and they actually apparently, I heard they signed it today. The U.S. Embassy Treaty, which replaces NAFTA, which is just a little minor trade treaty, to the real Zone 3 Treaty, which is zone, we're Zone 3 of the 10 kings that give their power to the beast system for one hour. And that's under Trump, too, by the way. People think it's all just demon rats on one side. No, no, no. Even while Trump is actually ruling as a conservative, pro-Christian, pro-whatever, religious freedom uh, Republican, the New World Order is proceeding at the speed of light toward the destination, isn't it? Yeah. Right now, I just went to the... Uh, I'm looking at my screen here on Quill and Dagger, and I see uh, uh, Barbara Conable. I think he was a uh, Republican. He was head of the World Bank, Council on Foreign Relations, you know, involved in all kinds of stuff. You mm -hmm. go right down there, Stephen Friedman, uh, uh, Chairman Goldman Sachs, Economic right. Council of... President's yeah, so in other words, it's for, advisory it, board, right on, it, you know, it's, 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 it's Even the sacrifice of our soldiers uh, by illegal wars and not giving them proper equipment. Give an example. I take care of troops for going right back to Korea. I've been in practice now almost 50 years. And what I found is we purposely put them in places where we don't have them engaged to win the war. We have them engaged so they get degradation. In other words, they're in APCs that don't protect them from having their legs blown off. We give them level one body armor, so unless their family buys up to level three body armor, they can take a bullet that'll kill them or take off their limb, and then they come back without limbs. And we wonder why we're doing this. Well, we're doing this because it's a it's a blood sacrifice to their their higher gods. Okay? No, Doctor Deagle, that can't be the case. I said, look, if I was executing a battlefront, I would go out and I'd destroy the enemy in a weekend. It wouldn't be dragging on for years where our troops get degraded. Same with dealing with the Taliban, right? So. Yep. 
if, if they think, just like, for example, in our Navy, they keep pushing to build technology that our Navy or our military or our Marines don't need, and if they had ones that were designed specifically to win the battle in the battlefield, uh, we would move into a battlefield, the enemy would disappear in a matter of a weekend, and it would be gone. The war would be over, okay? Uh, or they would actually go to engage, and they'd say, look, we surrender. Because they realize it's like it's impossible to fight this enemy. For example, if I was engaging in the future, I'd be engaging with uh, robotic, both mobile airborne drones and killer robots. And I just tell the other side, you know, you can just give up now and we won't kill you all. Or you can try to engage and we'll just wipe you out. And, you know, we also need to have missile defense for every nation on Earth. So we don't have to worry about a chemical, biological, or nuclear threat from the air or an EMP threat. We did also start working on systems like we talked yesterday with uh, how to build systems to protect our power grid with uh, Professor Peter Pry and Glenn Rhodes from the, uh, the EMP task force. So, you know, they, they don't want solutions. When How come somebody like Deagle can give you a solution to virtually every major problem facing the earth and they say, we can't find solutions, they don't want to hear solutions because they want chaos. They're the masters of chaos. They have people like the Rosenbergs. They even set them up to do this thing, transfer technology. Then they kill them as part of the theater of the New World Order. It's theater, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if they've got people in, in, in various uh, troops. They actually, you know, it's almost like the Screen Extras Guild and, uh, you, know, the, you know, the Broadway Guilds and so forth. Right. But they're, 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 they're created into a, a mixture in which they can depend upon. And, of course, the same goes for the um, so-called ones out there that pontificate all the time how better they are than you and I. Right. And they come from the purpose-driven churches. They come from the uh, left-wing Unitarian churches or the globalists. They come from, you know, the Methodist for Social Action, which was the first communist front. But they always come to you as the uh, as smarter or better than you, and they want to direct you to behave in a, a way that assists. Uh, the you know the world government or right. helps in eliminating people on on Earth in addition. Right. So they have the scientists and the you know a lot of the young people that are really indoctrinated into this global warming stuff. It's pathetic. I saw two city council people from Scotts Valley, which is in Monterey, or Santa Cruz County, up here, and they met last night. And two of them came back from the regional meeting talking about uh, how dangerous global warming is and how they're going to have to change the water. You know, the, the only global warming is a, is a stupidity in their head. The thing is, I, I had when people do it, I get enraged because I'm an environmentalist. I was one of the primary founding members of Greenpeace over 50 years ago, and I was an oceanographer. When I hear people talk about global warming, here's what they're doing, okay? And I'm going to put, highlight this again for people out there that think they have a right to dispute Dr. Deagle. And by the way, if you think you know anything more than Dr. Deagle, I want to get taught. And if you have evidence, please call into the show or email or contact me. But if you think you're going to fence with me and you're going to combat me, thinking you know more than me or their logic is better, come into my cage match and I'm going to give you the intellectual beating of your life. You have never faced anybody like me again. I'm like my ancient ancestor, Moshe, okay, who was the most intelligent and, and, and determined servant of the Most High God, willing to even have his soul uh, depleted from the book of life to save his fellows. Okay, so listen up here. Number one, Project Scopex. I met in 1997 with Professor Isley, who owned the Vitamin Cottage, who founded the World Constitution Parliament Association, gave me the Federation of Earth's Documents under the United Nations, the actual charter which was signed up by that time by 57 nations by 1997. All right? So get a life, people. These people are morons. When I conflicted this idiot, and he was talking about Project Scopex, which, by the way, Mike Adams talked about in the Gen Gen 6 conference. He's regurgitating stuff I've talked about for 25 years. Okay, we'll go back to my show on Clear Channel. The fact is, when I met him, he wanted to reflect sunlight up with nanoparticle uh, calcium carbonate and heavy metals in it in the upper atmosphere, which would collapse the biosphere and carbon. We're carbon-based units who collapse the entire biosphere, trees, phytoplankton, whatever. And, of course, it would also reduce the carbon-oxygen cycle so we'd have less oxygen, which protects us from incoming radiation because you need oxygen, ultraviolet light, and the magnetic field of the Earth to create ozone. So these idiots are trying to create a lethal extinction-level event, okay? So you need a, we don't want a dialogue with them. They want them to shut up. They're like a psychotic that needs a shot in their ass and a posy jacket and a muzzle in their mouth. I don't want to hear from them. Now, if you've got a valid thing that needs to be done, we need to recycle everything. 
We need to have smokestacks that absolutely nothing goes out except water vapor. And when you do that already, in America, where our technology is now, our cities are a lot cleaner than they ever were back 30 years ago. But this idea that somehow we're in times and we're all going to kill ourselves like this one Thunberg is on time, this little Asperger child needs to shut up. And her damn parents are avataring like a video game. They need to be in prison for abusing her, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, it, it, what, what I see here, I'm, I'm looking over some of the members of the uh, uh, Quill and Dagger, and yeah. I'm sorry I've missed this for years. You know, I've, I've been on that uh, Skull and Bones for so long. But Skull and Bones, they founded uh, Cornell. I think it was Anderson Dickerson White. And at right. that time they founded Skull and Bones based on, uh, I mean, the uh, Quill and Dagger. And I'm looking over a few of these names, and they are powerful. Uh, you know, listen to this. Right. Uh, Walter Teal, the president and chairman of Standard Oil. Right. Uh, Joseph N. Pugh, Jr., vice president and chairman of Sun Oil, a Pew Charitable Trust. Right. Um, and then you go to the opposite end, the ones that are pre- pretending they're against the establishment. you got Jack Shankman, chairman of Americans for Democratic Action. Now, that was right. the old industrial league for democracy and the... Uh, you know, United Socialist, et cetera, uh, before that. And then we've got Andre Balez, who we talked about last week, and he's the executive officer of Balez Properties, which includes the standard hotels, of which Adam Schiff is totally uh, complicit with. Right. Um, and this, again... Yeah, I mean, Adam Schiff is right tied up with the, the those hotels, isn't he? And the blackmail us, and the intelligence agencies. Right. Tell us about Adam Schiff and his hotels. What's the story there? Oh, well, uh, there's a standard, uh, uh, there's a, a set of uh, hotels that uh, businessman Andre Balaz, that's B-A-L-A-Z-S, um, right. and he's, uh, you know, he's in with the Hollywood crowd. He's dated uh, um, Irma Thuman and uh, uh, Chelsea Handler, and, uh, you know, right. he's been around, but uh, uh, this uh, West Hollywood claims they're the first, you know, homosexual city and this is uh what this is a uh a project of ed buck and ed buck uh is the man that uh, at least got west coast public you know pub- publicity right. about the dead prostitutes being wheeled out of his out of his residence the last right. one ran out with a hypodermic needle in his arm and he you know he finally got in trouble i you know he's probably you know uh He's probably like Weinstein, you know, uh, free on bail or, you know, painted to, you know, look like he, he should get some mercy. Right. Or he may be uh, uh, expedited from the country like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> uh, now they say they don't even have a camera uh, footage of his first attempted suicide. So, I mean, right. how many coincidences in a row do you need? He's probably well, you know, ill. That's why I afraid of him as Agent Epstein. So he, he was just an agent of the Mossad, the, the MI6, and the CIA. He worked for multiple agencies. That's what he was. But the, you know the, these these guys. This is that you know it, it's a Jeffrey a Jeffrey Epstein operation. You know it's right. uh, actually it mirrors everything that had to do with PizzaGate, including you know using uh, pizza and that uh, that same uh, spirit cooking uh, Ambrovich. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, but uh, uh, she's the spirit in there cooking good. is a satanic ceremony you were talking about, right? Yeah. And that's, you know, I mean, it, it, it's gross. They're t- <laughs> talking about breast milk and sperm mixed together with blood. And, uh, they go through all kinds of these rituals, just as do the well, they're, what Bohemian they're trying to do is Grove. Gather, the ritual is not just a ritual that's on the physical level, it's on the spirit level. It's called the gathering of ectoplasm as a spirit gift to the hyperdimensional negentropic uh, beings called the Nephilim and the disembodied spirits of those that indwell our leaders. Do you think it's a it's a joke or it's not happening? It says in the Bible, Thessalonians, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual witness in high places. Those high I got a surprise member to announce when we get back from a break. Exactly. Those high places are in the spirit realm and in our leaders that run our world for Satan. 
Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritional meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared, is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, lumen photon therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a lumen photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888 He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the lumen photon therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body, Get a lumen photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-871. You stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bill provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridine at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. 
But once you get past the entertainers and athletes and get down to uh, uh, other, you get down to the uh, banking and hey, By the way, finance. I... I, I I, I want to give a notice here. I just found out from my wife, Michelle, that we are putting our sale on early. That code actually works, although the picture is being put up right now. The sale for Christmas right through January, I think, 3rd or 5th, is on. And the code, if you want to save 7% on all of our nutriment and all our technology, is Merry, like Merry Christmas, M-E-R-R-Y. And you have to understand, you may not see on the page things like the uh, Magi, or if you're looking at QRS by the Magi, but if you just type in Magi in the search engine uh, on uh, up on the top at Nutramedical, it'll pop up. If, if I just put in, say, Magi, capital letters, let's see if it pops up here. I'm going to see. It should. Uh, yes, it does. So you can still purchase one. Now, the price had to rise because of the cost of actually manufacturing, and that price is now seven ninety five. Now, if you didn't get it on the first batches, these are amazing. I got uh, several of them now. I'm using my own. It's amazing. But you have to have the right Nutrimed. So if you're not taking the right Nutrimed, it's useless, okay? It'll immobilize stuff, and it's not going to work near as well unless you have all the right Nutrimed. So you need to have a consult with me. The new process of having a consult, if you want just a basic starter one, there's nothing. You just call an email, and I'll email, I'll call you back. But if you want me to look and do testing on you or review medical reports or labs or whatever, you need to have a membership in our native board, the First Nation uh, Medical board, it's called, where you just sign up and you're a member become. 35 bucks, and then we can do consults, which involves spending my time. I do have to charge you for going over your history and everything for my time. Otherwise, it's all free. 96%, 97%, it's all free. If you're just asking for what supplements should I take, Doc? But if you're going to get a Magi, or if you want to get it, you have to type it in because it's not going to show up under a category in there, on the shop. Same as the other, you'll see other products there too, like the uh, Progen 3 or the Pearl M Plus or the QRS Matter Cell Vital. They're all hidden away. You're not going to see them unless you actually type in the search box and click on products and then you'll see it pop up. So the code today is Mary. Let's continue with talking about all this stuff because I think people have to understand even the so-called Christian ceremony is actually the ceremony of the return of the sun and the resurrection of the god Osiris, the god of the underworld, which is another name for Lucifer. And in fact, when you look at the garb of Santa Claus, I refer to him as Satan's Claus, haha. Even though I kind of, when we're kids were a little late, I didn't have Santa Claus, but I understand all this stuff, and you're not a fool. Um, we still have a tree and all this stuff, and I don't get all wound up and super religious over it, but I tell people I understand these things by themselves are memorial to ancient pagan times, aren't they? And the pagans, by the way, are still in control of the world. People think, oh, they're not in control. I said, you're an idiot. The Druidic Council of 13, which is pagan, controls the world. All these secret orders at the top are all pagan, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm looking at, <laughs> right at this thing, and they're showing a, a nuclear weapon being exploded. This is Quill and Dagger, members. Mm-hmm. Oscar C. Brewster, uh, born 1918, Manhattan Project engineer. Here's another one, uh, Leroy B. Thompson. Right. Physically assembled, the first atomic bomb dropped at Bikini Island in 1946 and made a practice run with the uh, uh, B-29 bombers. But these are the guys that are involved. And, of course, uh, Bohemian Grove has bragged about it. In fact, that series in, uh, on Washington, D.C. Right. Uh, even had the uh, the star attend <laughs> the equivalent to Bohemian Grove, and that exposed it. It made it a little bit real, just as Hollywood made real uh, skull and Bones with their uh, movie The Good Shepherd, which showed accurately some of their power, uh, their their private island on uh, in the St. Lawrence Seaway, uh, which they meet annually, and uh, and some other stuff. So even though they try right. to misdirect uh, your uh, effect, the effect of their assets uh, by by trying to uh, dress them up uh, in in clown outfits, uh, people can see through some of that and and realize that there's there really is something there that they need to look at. Right. Well, it's the same thing as a clown uh, attitude in the little tricycle zone of the Shriners. Now, people need to understand this, and I've, I've breached this over the last month. Satan, 90 to 95% of what he does, looks, tastes, and smells good. That's a shock to me. I thought he just does evil. No, he doesn't. That's how he deceives you, just like political systems both on the left and right. 
And that's why even Bernie Sander Claus is a communist. He goes, well, he gets real angry like Mr. Potato Head. I think he's a really good Mr. Potato Head model, isn't he? And he shakes his head with his little white hair flying and so on. The fact is these people are communist atheists. They don't want to accede to a god of the universe or a god creator. No, 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 no. They want to think that government is your creator and they give and take away rights. And they're going to promise you, you know, a, you know, communist nirvana, which is a lie, isn't it? It's killed 100 million people in the 20th century. But he wants, them, he wants to make you communist. Just like a century ago, we forced through the British and the Vatican communism on Russia. Russia wasn't wanting to be communist. The royal family, the, the Romanovs, were actually relatives of the French and the British and all the other royalties in Europe. They're their kissing cousins, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. People don't get this. They think Deagle's making this up as a conspiracy theory. You know what? The last time I had someone dispute with me and come on air was nine years and a half ago now. It's older now. It was a doctor who wanted to dispute all the vaccines. But, you know, I'm certain the man was over six foot tall when we started. But when I finished, he was shorter than the dwarf on Game of Thrones. Nah. Now, if you think you can fence with Deagle and get away without getting a intellectual beating of your life, you're a fool. Now, if you're a, a, a humble person, you come and just ask a question and you want an answer, I'll try to pursue the answer and either, if I don't have a full immediate answer, I'll pray on it and I'll break down the problem to its constituent parts. This is not entertainment radio. This is shock education radio to save your physical hide from serious illness with advanced integrative functional medicine, to save your geopolitical future from being lies by people like Quill and Dagger, and other Masonic organizations, and they're on the left and right. I guarantee you that Donald Trump, who's on the 66th floor, is a high-level Mason. He may be in good intention, but in fact, some of the nicest people you can meet are Masons because they do a ton of good works. But they also do evil in their own eyes. They do what is necessary to, in order to move their goal forward, and sometimes it's nasty, isn't it? Yeah, well, my dad joined for a year and a half, I think, for for business reasons, and he just thought it was, you know, too much hocus pocus for, you know, well, uh, uh, making real told, relationships. I was, told, you know? I was told because of my IQ and talents and PhD before I went to medicine, I should join. Two months before I had my first class, I became a Firo Sigma. They tracked me everywhere I went. And I traveled one state to another. Boom! Hey, Firo knows you're here. I think, oh, what my God! How do these people know I'm here? They know before my parents knew where I was. People need to understand the New World Order are basically all-seeing and all-knowing druidic uh, guys. They're the guys that set up the, the movie. That, you know, they even have to hoodwink. They have to tell you in advance what they're going to do. So movies like The Matrix propels the fact that they've been working since the 1970s on with Promise Software to create literally a virtual world project called The Matrix. And the primary note is that America, Colorado, Falcon, 18 miles east of Colorado Springs, and Garbage Dump Road at U.S. Space Command. And guess what? I work with them. I know everything. I don't know something. I don't know a little bit here, a little bit there. I know everything. And I even tell people I'm going to make some videos of this on my private Vimeo channel. You're not going to find this on my regular show, even all of the information. You're going to find it on my Vimeo channel. Yeah, I think What's we there? talked off air about, uh, you know, one of the surprises in here, or at least, you know, people coming from the right, uh, right. is that uh, uh, Adolf Coors was a member of this uh, Skull and uh, right. Uh, Quill and Dagger, and he was the uh, you know founder and financer of the Heritage Foundation, which pushes uh, you know charter schools, which sound wonderful, but what they do is they train people to work in a specific field. It's uh, outcome education. It's this is exactly what the uh, Charlotte Ezerbet said that the Americans and the uh, Soviets you know during the 80s were working on when she was in the Department of Education, and she was horrified uh, by it because it's predestination determined by the state. Well, they do it in, they did in Russia. They would start predestining kids who were four and five years of age to become athletes or engineers or whatever, and they predestined them, and they'd actually put them in that pathway with apprenticeships and everything. <clears throat> there's so by the time a, a they're great, 10, they're on their it, way to their final career, aren't they? Yeah, there's a, there's a great series on Netflix, and I think I mentioned it before. It's, I think it's called Common Sky or the Same Sky, and it's only about seven or eight episodes on a, on a Stasi agent being trained. It starts off with him being trained to seduce uh, a, a lady in the West, West Berlin, uh, to uh, uh, 
give up information. But it's worthwhile looking at because this is how, <laughs> uh, yeah, they use people. They they literally seduce them, and we're seduced through you know good works and smiles and uh, like Shakespeare said, smile and smile and and still be a villain. We ha- we we can't cave in to all of these uh <laughs> these treats and all of this bait they lay out for us because you know we're we're being fool, fooled and, and and screwed um one of the other people in here i think people remember from the 90s uh, sandy berger a national security supplier was walking out with a bunch of you know uh, secret papers in his underwear of course nothing ever happens to uh to these people you know if if they're you know they're, they're tied in uh tightly uh but there there's another person in here and i'll find it in a minute but he claims uh being responsible for the election of john f kennedy and uh, having uh, George Lincoln Rockwell create the Nazi Party. And that's in the Quill, you know, um, uh, Quill and Dagger list of uh, individuals. If people want to go through them, they can see a list of the secret occult power themselves. And you don't have to buy some, you know, witchy book or spend 40 bucks, although you should get out there and, you know, get some. Uh, exposés on this stuff uh you know there's some good material but you can find this right on uh wikipedia and uh, you can find the names and the people that uh, are collaborating with each other for this world government and right. this elite that protects each other so this well, in fact, from, uh, uh, Joseph in fact i'm going to put up the links Scott for third, well, you know i'm going to put up the links for wikipedia for uh quill and dagger and i'll put the links also for the uh uh for the list of these people remember now let's go back to the rosenbergs See, this is a kind of example of the theater involves even murder. It involves wars and pestilences. For example, when Hillary Clinton, and by the way, Mr. William Barr oversaw this, uh, the uh, Benghazi and the Uranium One deal. Again, by the way, the same people, Mueller was involved with that too, getting the cover up. These people all knew that 9 11 was an inside job. In fact, we had the show last week, and we're going to have her on again, Susan Lindauer. And because she was a CIA agent in Iraq and America, she actually had discovered they were going to do 9-11 in May of 2001. And when they discovered it, they put her under the Patriot Act in prison and were going to plan on doing a drug rendition on her to wipe her mind clean and make her a, basically a post-toxic uh, psych patient in prison. And she managed to get a, a judge that prevented her from being renditioned, but she was in prison for about a year before they finally released her. And she was put on sanctioned so she couldn't speak for several years until I think four or five years later. So people need to understand this, that that even the murder of the Rosenbergs is part of the theater of pretending that Russia somehow independently developed nuclear weapons, which is a pile of crap. Or targeting technology was transferred under Bill Clinton to China and Russia, which they didn't have. So they were building the Sarmat super weapon, nuclear weapons in Tobolsk, which is eastern Ukraine, which is the Russian we call Satan missiles that had a 100 megaton warhead because they didn't have accurate targeting. They couldn't hit the broad side of a continent. Right? Yeah. Well, was, they got all, all the and all that stuff, right? <laughs> especially coming over the North Pole, there was also was called a, a, a recorrection, and they didn't do a very good job of it. So until we gave them targeting technology to the Russians and Chinese, they couldn't miniaturize and increase the number of warheads so they could accurately target military sites and cities. People don't know this, that... Our government and our intel agencies collaborate with the drug cartels, the human trade, the organ trade, uh, and with the spread of technology around the world, including supercomputers. Back in Bill Clinton, we didn't give our best supercomputers, but we gave a lot of supercomputers to the Chinese so they could hack into our grid. Now we've got Huawei and this first so-called treaty that Trump is pushing, that unless he gives a waiver to American business, the Chinese are going to have a backdoor because we can't encrypt against the Chinese government. For encryption, I've had Gordon Chang will be back on the program. I talked to his wife the other day. He was on Fox just the other day talking about how crazy this first deal that Trump's doing because it means we're not only going to not put a tariff on these guys, which they're desperate to get our technology and steal it, including right up to the beast system out of Falcon, Colorado. But you have to understand that, that the Chinese want to make sure that our industry can't have backdoor encryption blocking their access to steal our data and our technology. Oh, my God. I mean, you don't get it here. And, Mr. Trump, you're a distraction and a moron. You need to fix that or we're going to lose. Okay? Okay. 
Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutralizing the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the re uh, generation of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco-D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, A-A-E-M, A-C-A-M, A-4-M, of Nutramedical.com, and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations for referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc. We have Life Support that detoxes phase 2 detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have Glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption and helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have uh, the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and re- greens drink in the world with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutri Medical every day. We have our. I want people to have a sense of hope for the future. Hope comes when people, it says in the Bible, have a vision. And you get the vision when you get the truth. Now, the truth is led by people that have the bravery, like Joshua, the assistant to Moses, where they have the bravery to ask questions, and there are the anomalies and the paradoxes right in front of you, to ask questions even if it empties you of thinking you have control or know the truth about what's going on. And that, by the way, involves the idea of dialogue and asking questions, being having a high curiosity index, CI, I call it, or curiosity quotient, instead of an IQ, or intelligence quotient. This show is to bring your, your nutritional and your functional integrative medicine quotient up. By the way, the sale is still on. Today, 
right through to January, I think, 3rd or 4th. And the code, and the picture's not up yet, but the code is Mary, and you can save 7%. So rush, rush, rush. If you get your orders in today, we'll get them out maybe today or tomorrow morning first thing, and they'll get there in time for them to be, as they delivered by you, your relatives, or by Santa Claus, uh, if your kids believe in that. But you want nutraceuticals like, you know, vitamin mineral mix for your kitties, uh, supplements for your parents that have maybe early dementia or arthritis, people that are suffering with bowel problems or maldigestion. We've got supplements for anybody. And by the way, you can get free advice by just contact me. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to say, Dr. Deagle, here's my email. Here's my callback phone number. What do I take for such and such and such? And you will be amazed how much better you'll feel. So the code is M-E-R-R-Y, Mary. And you can save right now, right through the holidays, 7% on everything, including tech like the Magi. Just type in Magi and you'll see it there. Price has risen now to seven ninety five, but it's amazing. And all of our tech, all of our equipment, everything is 7% off, including, by the way, the pure water systems are 7% off. There was a mistake there made, say it was 10 no. It's 7% during sales. Um, so, Gary, the problem is over the years that people get convinced that they're either on the left or the right or they're being watching media or going to church or listening to politicians or professors in school, and all of them are being turned into, as David D. says, they've been turned into sheeple. And they've been taking what's called intellectual ba lessons. You know, you have to ba properly if you're going to be a good sheeple, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you see, you and I are, are more of like we, we call the, 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 the high priest class. We know really what's going on. And we try to convert people. And, and we don't do it to harm people. We want people to be saved by it, both the left and the right, because they're all our brothers and sisters. Even those who are doing evil now, we want to repent and turn back and do God, and then an extra, oh, I call it do good. And uh, when I mentioned this the other day to one of my Christian people, he said, that's too funny, Deagle. John W. Spring is our guy. And he said, yeah, that's what you do. You have to understand what God's will is in the Bible or in prayer, and do his will. Don't do your own, because you're always going to screw up, even if it looks good, tastes and smells good, but it's your idea, not God's idea, okay? And where we're going in our Constitution is, even with Donald Trump, unless we can witness to him, he's not going to get missile defense, He's not going to get EMP defense in our power grid. He's not going to get control of the border. He's actually subjugating America with the, even the USMC treaty to a new world order and a new currency system and a new locked-in currency with communist nations, basically Russia and China. And we have to understand that what's going on here is they want America to eventually surrender, not conflict in a war, but surrender to a new world order. And we're actually being set up for that, aren't we? Next oh, year, exactly. the world ID yeah, starts... They, they, they made the plans to move, you know, the center from New York actually to Red China because they have no, none of the uh, uh, investigators or people with a, a culture of right and wrong uh, that they <laughs> they can get away with the uh, Red China because it, uh, it it fits perfectly with the Illuminati uh, uh, things from Adam Weishaupt who says, you know, mm-hmm. kill, cheat, steal, poison. Uh, I mean, all the information. Uh, they use in order to keep their their particular society, their brotherhood, uh, in the yeah, top that's, battle. That's, that's failing. That's, you know. I've had Gordon Chang on the program. China is failing. Their economy has crashed and, and sucked in now 30% over the last year or so dealing with Trump because Trump's not going to put up with it. Now, I know initially he's got the first phase of this treaty, and they're going to buy you know somewhere on $50 billion more agricultural products because they're starving to death over there, by the way. But they need. he said they're going to give us intellectual protection for property, which is a lie, because they're going to steal everything they can get their paws on. That's one in the back door to Huawei and these. They don't want encryption, so the American oh, companies not can back protected. door. They physically got, you know, Diane Feinstein. They got the front know, door. With, with their red Chinese person and Leon Panetta. Right, right. Feeding them information forever. Yeah, but not just Obama's that. I'm talking about CIA, hacking into the Department of Defense. It just goes on I'm, and on. They control. Yeah, Gary, I'm talking about power. hacking into even our engineers while they're developing new technology. Now, the Chinese don't innovate because when they innovate, they can end up in a lot of can't be tissue type and have their organs whipped out of them. So the Chinese, even if they're smart, they've been so persecuted. You know, I tell people it's a chopstick society. You say, but why do they have chopsticks? 2,000 years ago, an emperor decided that he didn't want any citizens except his private army to have knives or long implements that are sharp. So he said, you must eat only with chopsticks. That's why they have chopsticks. Do you know that? The Chopstick Society is an, is an ancient thing from the emperor 2,000 years ago that said, I don't want you suckers to have knives. You might actually take me out because you got a dagger. 
<laughs> right? Oh, hey, you know, that really fits in with this, uh, you know, the, the gun confiscation, right? I mean, <laughs> they're going to have to get rid of the, the knives well, and forks. I've had up for over a decade technology to, to both lethal and non-lethal. In fact, I've had up uh, a ball-bearing accelerator weapon and other scalar weapons. I'm going to put up more. So you can assemble these from things you can order online <clears throat> or from the hardware store locally and put it together in an afternoon or two. And by the way, these are not bullet dependent. And if you do have a gun, get a bullet making machine. Go and get it at a, at a, a, a fair before the government shuts it down because they're going to use the credit card companies, Walmart, whoever. And the globalists like Blomberg that wants to steal your guns, they don't want to steal your guns. They want it to be trophies on your wall because you don't have bullets. They want to steal your bullets. They don't want you to make bullets. And they also don't want you to have other types of weapons that might be non-lethal. They can just knock someone down and make them barf rather than coming to your front door with a gun saying, you better surrender or go to the to the, you know, the, the transfer car so they can put you in a rail car and go off for beheading. People say, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. I say, you know what, you're a freaking moron and you're going to die, stupid. Okay. Well, look what's happening effect. in Virginia right now where 75% of the sheriffs and local governments are going to deputize the citizens so that they can keep uh, their firearms. Right. Yet the governor is claiming he's going to call on the National Guard uh, to enforce the confiscation of the gun. So let, I mean, let me tell you, let me tell you, because I work with National Guard, and, and that, that, yeah. that is a red line. Don't let them take your guns. No way. No, exactly. Yeah. If they take the guns, it's over, okay? Let me tell you, the reason why they're ready, they're ready to take the guns is because they're ready to chip you and track you. Well, I've heard word from really good sources, including Greg Ford and others, next year they're going to try to start chipping the U.S. population. Now, you want to chip me? i got something for you, I and mean, it's going to make you die hard, like Bruce Willis. You want to come to my door and try to grab me and put me in a civil detention camp or chip me? You're going to die spitting your own blood trying to do that. And if you say, oh, that's a threat, Dr. Deagle, you shouldn't say that on air. Yeah, I do. I want you to know I'm going to arm the hell out of the American population with technology you haven't seen coming. And if you think you're going to come door to door and get 90-some million Americans with billions of uh, guns and bullets, do you think you're going to do it? It's not just that. We're going to have lethal and non-lethal weapons. You won't even know what the hell is coming at you. And it won't necessarily go pop like a gun. It'll be something that'll make you just kind of drop to the ground and break your teeth off. You have to understand, this is not N-O-T going to happen in America. And by the way, the same thing in Canada. Canadians are just as tough. They're just a little less bombastic. They tried to force these gun laws on Canadians. You know what, eventually? They failed so badly, they had the conservative government before the damn liberals took over. And Mr. Good looking idiot, Muslim maniac, and pseudo-homosexual himself, Justin Trudeau, and he's losing popularity because he's such a piece of crap. Okay? Yes, maybe he's a good snowboard instructor. He's not a good prime minister. He's an idiot. And he's a devilish idiot and son of Pierre Elia Trudeau, who had 666 on his car. This guy was a Satanist. I know. Well, you, 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 you're, you're, you're talking about protection, you know, a, a very sophisticated one. But when you even go back to Solzhenitsyn, you know, he was talking about using pitchforks and bats or whatever it was when they first came. And he said we might have lost a few people, but he thought that, you know, he said they should have listened. would be uh, yeah. crushed or crunched in that action uh, that, you know, millions and millions of people would not have been killed and the communist revolution would not have been successful if people would resist, you know, yeah. in kind. So, because, you know, they're, they're taking you off. You know, when they put you in a yeah, car, you figure were, that's it. You don't get in that Okay, car. listen, I, I talked about this the other last week with Greg Ford on the show. And I talked about the fact, you see, Dr. Deagle has three sources of information. You may be offended by this, but tough luck okay tough okay this is ugly reality facts number one i was turned to a spook 26 years ago when i got above top secret clearance working with the top classified projects in the, in the world in the united states and so i got a reality check big time and i know stuff i'm only releasing about 10 percent and even on my shows over the years i'm going to release all of it on my videos over in my private vimeo channel now, you have to understand, the second source is I have intel agents that contact me. After the show, they contact me, okay? Pentagon, Homeland Security, CENTCOM, etc. And the third is Supernatural, okay? You need to understand this, people. 
You know, October 10, 1993, I was given a supernatural visitation and taken to the city from which the market and the beast will come. It's Falcon, Colorado, people. Okay? I don't know a little tiny bit about it. I know everything. In fact, after I did my lecture at the uh, old Catherine Coleman Church in downtown Denver in 1998, I had a guy call me up and said, look, I work with Lockheed Martin. I want to I meet you. I said, why? He said, I'm going to show you that everything you talked about is true. We're working on the mark of the beast. And we can't bring it in until we bring in nationalized health care, he said. Which Barack Obama, by the way, did. You know that? you got to have nationalized health care to close the matrix and total control of someone's data, their medical data. Did you know that? Well, that's, he you gave know, that's me like a 700-page document. Bill Gates actually, vaccinations and health right, you gotta care. Right, you got to let me finish. Uh, let, me, let me finish. He yeah. gave me the actual template for the Mark of the Beast system. Now, I presented that lecture in 1999 when I took over for 90 minutes when God sent another angelic invitation to say, Hey, Deagle, you're going to take over this conference of the South African evangelists that's got thousands of people from all over the world in downtown Denver. You're going to take it over for 90 minutes. And I did right to the 90th minute take over the conference. And I talked about these specific things I had met with this guy in Lodo, downtown Colorado, uh, Denver, Colorado. Now, you got to understand, who the hell is this guy, Deagle? I was prophesied 2,000 years ago by, to my ancestor in the Sanhedrin, who's the best friends of Joseph of Marathena, the uncle for Mary, who was a descendant of, of Moshe in the family line called Naima. Naima is a Niami tribe of the Medes that were actually the same people that actually sent the Magi gifts to Jesus because they knew he was coming. They studied the star signs that Jonathan Gray talks about. And I was prophesied to be a Moses-like leader at the time of the end and to bring other leaders like yourself together to tell the truth to the people because my people pray for lack of vision. Now, you're not going to get the whole vision by listening to Alex Jones or Coast to Coast Radio or other radio shows. You're not. You're going to get a portion, 60 to 90% truth, and the rest is blather, lies, or manipulation. You're not. You're going to get the whole truth here. I will die for you, no matter whether you think you're wonderful or not, or even doing evil, but I will not lie to you. And that you can take to the bank and take to the grave, because I will die for you, rather than tell you a lie. Okay? I serve my Father the Most High God. And I want you to know, I have God on speed dial. And if he pushes me, and I don't pray on things unless he pushes me, because he said, do not pray on things that I have not called you to pray on, or you'll carry the burden of that knowledge to your grave. I don't want to do that, okay? So, But I see things coming up now where God is telling me to pray on it, and I'm going to reveal it to you. This last week, I got the revelation that next year is the final layer with 5G of the Mark of the Beast. They're doing it now, damn it. That's why they're so rabid going after Trump. And even Nancy Pelosi, this freaking witch, that's a Satan, a satanic, uh, pedophilic, uh, child-killing monster, witch, that's what she is. No, She's not saying I'm not even necessarily going to... in effect for a good 15, 20 years. Right, and but she said I'm not going to necessarily... How many people are already destined to die because they, they distance their killing... Uh, you know, right. from their but she's not even, and all the other stuff. Exactly. She's not, she's not even necessarily bringing all this stuff uh, before the Senate now. She said, oh, I know. I don't think it's going to get fair. She's a devil, okay? Yeah. She's not just... Well, I, I, don't, I don't want any followers. I want people to know who their enemy is. I want them to exactly. know the landscape. I, I don't want them to worship me. I want them to worship the Most High God and, and find out the truth. Go to your website, news-expose.org. News-expose. And after the show, we should do some video because you've got nice pictures of the Rosenbergs and others. People need to realize this is not open to your damned opinion. It's historical fact. Ugly facts. No, the look at Wikipedia. Revolution. Thank you, Doc. Yeah. Which is most important because that was your opinion.